Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on visualizing Tiger Graph's movie starter kit using Poly Dash. And for more information or any help and assistance, feel free to check out the following links. And we begin by importing the necessary packages in the library. And while that's running, we need to create our solution in the Tiger Graph Cloud Portal. So in order to do that, we can open up the Cloud Portal and log into our account. And when we do that, we're going to click the blue Create Solution button, move on over to the Recommendations tab, and select Recommendation Engine Movie Recommendation. These settings should be uh, mostly straightforward. And after that, we get to actually naming our solution, coming up to subdomain. And for now, I'm just going to be matching uh, what the notebook comes loaded with, but these can be customized to whatever names, uh, password, or subdomain you wish. Just make sure it's consistent in both the solution and in the notebook. So now we're just entering the password and typing in the subdomain. So that's just everything before the .i.tg cloud. So in this case, the movie Plotly. And finally, just a brief description. So this will be a dashboard for the movie recommendation starter kit. And once that's all done, you can scroll down, hit next, make sure everything looks okay over there. And finally, click submit. And voila, now we wait for the solution to be ready. So we'll see that currently it says uninitialized, but uh, give it a little bit and soon it should say processing and then finally ready. And once it's ready, we can launch it by clicking on applications and selecting Graph Studio. And Graph Studio allows us to load the data and visualize our graph. So first of all, we want to delete the default graph. And once that's done, we want to create a new graph. Um, in this case, the name will be Movie Plotly. But once again, this can be changed. Just make sure it's consistent on both the notebook and the Graph Studio. So type in Movie Plotly. Make sure to select all vertices and all edges. Hit Create. And voila, there is our schema. So we have a person rate, edge, and a movie vertex. Now we can move over to map data to graph, and this is where we'll actually load in the data. So by clicking add data file, we can select the movies.csv, add that in, go back and click on ratings.csv. You can add that one in as well. Drag them to your appropriate places. And now select the map data button at the top and click on ratings and rate, and we can map each data attribute or data column to its proper place simply by creating arrows between each. And once that done, we can do the same thing for the movie.csv file. Now we select those two, map the movie ID to the ID, the title to the title, and finally the genres to the genres. And once that's all done, we have to publish our data mapping so simply hit the button, give it a second, and we're good to go. Now we can select the Load Data tab. And over at the top, you'll see the white Play button. I can click it, click Confirm, and our data will now be loaded. So there's a graph uh, showing sort of the loading versus time, as well as the number of vertices and edges. And once that's done, we can explore our graph really quickly and sort of see, here's a small snippet showing some of the movies and some of the people part of the graph. So everything looks good on this end. Next up, we're gonna use PyTigerGraph to establish our connection. And that's done with the TigerGraph connection function. And as can be seen, it has connected. Next up, we have our query section, which allow us to interface with the graph. For more information, you can check out the following resources. First up, we have a person-specific query that returns all the movies rated by an individual. The second query we have returns a frequency map of all the genres reviewed by an individual. After that, we have a similar reviewers query, which gives the top five reviewers based on the number of movies rated in common and whether they've given the same rating to them. After that, we have a helper function that just returns the average rating of a movie. And this function is used to determine a person's accuracy score, which is basically the error between the rating they gave versus the true rating of the movie. We have a movie query, which just returns some quick information. 
After that, our next movie query returns a map of date, times, and ratings to create a historical histogram. The one after that returns a map of all movies that are above 4.95 stars. And finally, our miscellaneous query returns a map of genres and the number of movies in each genre. Using these queries, we can create some helpful visualizations that will be used in the dashboard. First up, we're going to initialize some variables, including colors, styles, and logos that will be used throughout each of the three pages. After this, in terms of our general page, we're going to run two of our queries from above. And the reason for this is to allow for quicker startup because these queries results do not change. They are not dependent on any past in ID. After this, we have our general functions. So one that creates an indicator to, and that'll be used to display the movies, people, and reviews. Our next function creates a pie chart, which displays the number of genres and the number of movies in each genre. So just going through, creating a data frame, etc. After this, our next function creates a table, which displays the top rated movies of the graph. And this allows for a quick way to sort of see what's the most favorite movies. Next up for the movies page, we have a quick info function, which just returns the title, genres, and rating. After this, we have a function that returns three figures. One is a line in a bar chart for historical rating. So that's done over here. And going through, creating a figure and adding two traces. After this, we create our histogram and then finally our box and whiskers plot, which allows to further visualize the frequency charts of ratings. This is just our helper count histogram function, which creates a histogram using the frequency map. So seen over here, creating that data frame and using it to create a bar graph. And voila. And our last helper function is simply choosing the color. So this allows for different colors for each genre tag. Last page, person specific. In this page, we have a get basic stats uh, function, which basically just returns um, some statistics regarding each individual user, including their most favorite movies, least liked movies, etc. And finally, we have our accuracy score, which also belongs to that function. After this, we have a get most reviewed genres, which returns a histogram for genres versus counts for the inputted person. So one can sort of see what their most favorite and least liked genres are. And these next two functions are helper functions, which are used to create a radar chart, which is also displayed on the person page. So a radar chart allows for more easier visualization in terms of similar reviewers. So over here, we're converting from raw number to percentage to sort of see what percentage of reviewed movies belong to each genre. And this get radar chart function simply uses the above function to go through and overlay different radar charts on top of each other to sort of visualize how similar or different uh, individuals are from each other. And voila, at last we've reached our dashboard. And for more information uh, in terms of Dash, you can check out the following resources. So here we're just going to use the function that we defined above to create and return Dash layouts. So these are badges for each of the title, movies, people, reviews, genres. And we're using those badges to create Dash cards, which will be used for more easy to view a layout in terms of displaying those numbers and information. And after this, we are creating an HTML div element, which we'll return. So we have a row with logo title, four cards with different statistics, and the last row displays the pie chart and the table of five-star movies. So pretty straightforward. Next up in our getting movie page, we first need to make sure that the ID passed in is a valid integer. And after that, we're gonna retrieve the information using the functions and once again, create those badges to display the numbers and strings in terms of title and rating. And after that, this one's new, we're gonna create a search bar, which allows users to search for different movies. And finally, we're gonna put that all into a div element. So there we have the search bar, title, and then the four bottom figures. So um, here's the ratings histogram, for example, here's the box and whiskers chart. And finally, we have the iframe, which allows users to learn more about a movie. And just returning that, so pretty it, pretty much it. And finally, in terms of the getting person page, same thing, ensuring that this is an integer, gathering that information from those functions, 
creating those badges for the title, rating, reviews, accuracy, and then creating cards to display that information. And finally, we have these one star and five star movies cards, which also display the most liked and least liked movies. Here we have that search bar again. And finally, here's our div element, which just contains the search bar, those cards, uh, the most liked, least liked, and finally, a few figures. And voila. Last step, we have our sidebar. So this is a little miscellaneous, but here's just the styles for both of them. And just there's some text. So this sidebar will be displayed on all three pages. And it just allows the user to better understand and navigate through the dashboard. So we have like a brief description. We have some links to check out for further information. And then finally, we have a Tiger Graph logo, as well as a link to the cloud. And at long last, we can now awaken the app. So over here, we're creating those three pages. So the general content, movie content, and person content. And in terms of our callbacks, we have three of them. The first one just determines which page to display. So whether to display general, movie, or person page. And if it's any other inputted link, it just gives an error. Our next callback is for the movie page and updates that one accordingly. And our third one updates the person page using the value inputted. And running that last line of code gives us the link to click on. We can open that up and voila. Here in all its glory is our dashboard. So we have our pie chart down there showing the genres. We have those four cards at the top and we have our five star films table. So you can scroll through that and see what the top movies of this graph are. Over here on the left, we have those three uh, gauges which display information. If we click the movie specific tab, we see for Toy Story. This is all the information. You have the charts, histogram, box and whiskers, historical ratings, and finally that iframe over there on the right, which allows users to you know, maybe learn more about a particular movie if it catches their interest. Scrolling back up, we can enter a different movie ID number. For example, let's say we want to check out what movie number two is, and that would be Jumanji. So the genre tags carry over in terms of coloring, and however, the figures are now different for each movie. We can try another movie, for example. In this case, it takes two, and as seen, this one's ratings is a little bit different. A lot more people did not like the movies compared to the previous two. Moving over to the person specific tab, we tab, we can see for person number one, they really love uh, Lord of the Rings. And their most favorite genres are action, adventure, and fantasy, so it makes sense. And over here in this radar chart, we can see other individuals um, who have similar interests. So for example, person 42886, they have 52 movies viewed in common with person one. And that is something of interest in order for us to maybe see, maybe they are very similar individuals, sort of creating those connections. And so we can enter that info and see their profile in terms of the reviews, the average rating, what their favorite movie are. And finally, we can see their review genre. So they like comedy, drama, but also adventure and action. And going back to the general overview, we can see this is where we started. We have some more resources for users, and finally a link to the Tiger Graph Cloud if they want to try making their own graph in their own dashboard. And voila, congrats! You put together a dashboard for your Tiger Graph solution, and here are a few extensions to try, maybe mapping movie tiles to ID numbers, creating genre-specific or day-specific tabs, and with Tiger Graph and Polydash, there's truly an infinite number of things to do, so happy exploring!